Hey guys, it's Ladders to Nowhere here. I am playing Parish today, and this is a flawless gameplay. However, I am on the losing team, so I want to talk about bad teammates today. I play solo a lot, and uh, because of that, you never know what you run into. Um, having a flawless gameplay on a losing team is pretty sad. It's not a camping flawless, so you know I feel better about that, but it's still kind of sad. Uh, this game was also laggy as shit, so I actually feel happy that I went flawless on such a laggy game. You'll notice some spots here, um, and it didn't feel as laggy as this when I was actually playing, but going back in theater mode and watching this, it, it's pretty uh, crazy how laggy it is. There's like little speed ups where it looks like I'm walking faster, and there's some spots like right here where I turn to aim down the, the alleyway, and it was on the wall for a second. Things like that. So, you know, I'm having some connection issues lately. I don't know if it's my connection at home, per se, or, you know, the, the, the game itself. I'm not really sure, but either way, I still went flawless. A uh, few close calls. But, you know, just, just talking about bad teammates and, and getting stuck with a bad, bad lobby, basically, of, of players that... You know, you, you play against a bunch of people playing together. Obviously, they're communicating and things like that. And then you, your team isn't at all. And you get kind of stuck with just trying to do it all yourself, which I did here, but we still managed to lose. And that's pretty uh, pretty saddening. Um, this map, though, you know, I, I uploaded this because it is a flawless on a laggy lobby with a bad team still losing which is why I chose to upload it but uh, to talk about the map this is you know one of the new maps I think it's a lot of fun it's got a good flow to it it's really pretty you'll see later on when you're up in the air in a, in a kill streak actually looking down it, it's it, it's a very nice looking map um, they even detailed a lot of the outside of the non-playable area which looks really good um, I'm happy with it. The map itself has a good flow. Basically, you just run the border. Um, there's like an alleyway in the middle. There's a building on the other side of where I am right now, which tends to be the, uh, the camping style area. It's where a lot of the team that I was playing against was bunkered down most of this game. And it's a building straight ahead of me there. Um, you can go into the right here, or you can flank around to the to the back, which is where I had right now. Try to you know get them from behind but uh... hey get them from behind anyway um... i, I don't know I'm, I'm happy about this map like i mentioned in the the boardwalk video i'm happy about the uh... the new maps in general i think they're all work pretty well they all play well um, gulch is probably the only one i'm not super excited about but I, it's not that i do terrible on it i just it's a little too snipey for my liking so, you know, unfortunately there is that, but this one, I, you know, I like, I feel that this uh, boardwalk, um, those two in particular, have a uh, very close quarter engagement type of feel, and I, I personally like that. You know, a lot of tight confined spaces, uh, you know, not very many long opportunities for long engagements, they're mostly close quarter engagements. And, you know, like right there, that's probably one of the longest engagements I had this match. And that always, uh, for me personally, tends to make a better map. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of long engagements. Um, I, I like, you know, close quarter engagements a lot better. Uh, stabbing or, or I usually use an assault class. Um, but an SMG has a good feel for close quarter engagements. I just I, I tend to think those work better. They're a little, a little more fun to catch the enemy off guard. I almost killed myself here with the Reaper, but uh, you know they they, they work pretty well, um, and the, and they're good maps just in general. I'm actually happy about them. I don't feel as though they really let me down with this map pack like some of the the, the past ones have let me down. And, and like I said, that's just personal opinion. I, you know, it probably varies per person. Some people are really like Wasteland. Do you guys remember Wasteland? Uh, that was what, Modern Warfare 2. That map was just a, a rehash of 
Was it a Call of Duty 2 map? I think it was a Call of Duty 2 map. But, uh, you know, I didn't really enjoy that. It's too open. You know, you had the one bunker in the center, which kind of drew everyone's attention. And there was always a battle for that, or you could just picked off by snipers. <laughs> so, um, but this map pack in general is really good. Like I said, there you can see the details of the surrounding areas. It's a very nice looking map. It's just a downtown area. I, uh, I, I hope, and I'm not sure from what I've seen from Black Ops 2, they don't really offer a lot of the, the close quarter engagements, but I hope they, you know, dwell into that a little bit and, and, uh, that that happens. But that was pretty much it. You can see the score here in a second, and, uh, I don't follow us, my team lost, some really negative scores, but thanks guys, have a good one, hope you enjoyed it.